Welcome back, beautiful beings. In our last video, if you didn't see it, we used a Dollar Tree stencil wheel, and it was six different seashells. This one, we used paint to stencil down the seashells. And then this one, we used Distress Oxide ink to stencil down the seashells. And I've been pondering what pockets to put in between or on them, okay? But today, I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. I have this cardboard and I cut it into strips. And if any of you are journal makers or do scrapbooking or have lots of scraps from making crafts, you can use them. Decorative cardstock, plain cardstock, or cardboard. Down journals, whatever you have strip colored strips left over. Okay, you can use them as we'll call them mini belly bands. Um, mini bands. <laughs> really skinny mini mini belly bands I don't know but that's what we're gonna do like that one's too thin for that one I think but I can find a thicker one to go in between there but this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put them here and then we're gonna cut them just right to fit in there this will have to be probably diagonal you know not too straight because this is diagonal but you get the gist. but that's what we're gonna do and they're gonna be just belly bands but what I'm gonna do is I have this piece of scrap paper that I really don't care for. <laughs> okay, I don't really care for this. So grab your scrap paper you don't really care for. And then I'm going to glue these down onto that. Okay. Then I also have some tissue paper. And it's off white. And I'm gonna glue some down to that. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to use Maddie Mod Podge, and I'm just going to take this, take one of these, I mean it's not heavy cardboard, it's like, let's see, it's not heavy at all, but it's heavy enough for purpose that I'm going to be using it for. Now I'm going to take a piece of the tissue paper and I'm going to rip out a piece that's big enough but bigger than the piece that I put the glue on. And then we're going to glue it onto it. But I find a way easier way to do this, beautiful beans. <laughs> this look is totally different from the other look I come up with. But I kept it in a video just in case you like this look because you can always use this for something else. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm going to take the tissue paper and I'm going to crinkle it up. I turned the volume down so you didn't have to listen to that. And then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it until it's nice and wrinkly. And that's what I want. That's what I'm going for. So I did save the, I did do, do two strips with the Mod Podge. So if you like that look better, I don't like it. <laughs> I know this will give me the look I'm looking for. So you can do it either way, this way or the other way. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay, using the Mod Podge, I still didn't get the effect I wanted, beautiful beans. Now I'm just gonna cut it out and then I'm gonna show it to you. And then we're going to the next step, which gave me the effect that I was looking for. See these lines? I don't like the lines. I like the texture in between the lines. I like that texture. And I'm thinking maybe we should do this with Elena's because it's a lot thicker. So let's do that. Okay, beautiful beings. I got some Elena's tacky glue. I gotta get a new bottle, beautiful beings. I buy the big ones and fill, refill these. <laughs> this one, but I gotta get a new one because this one you can't read. So I got Elena's glue. And all I'm going to do is put this on here and I'm going to make sure I get the edges. I'm going to pay more attention to the edges than anything because I want to make sure it sticks down well on the edges. And then I took this because I didn't think the edges were crinkly enough and I just went like that. Okay. 
because I want it nice and crinkly look. Okay. I'm going to put you back up. Then I'm going to take this, move these up. And we're just going to flip them over and put it on. And I'm not going to rub them. I'm just going to set it on and then I'm going to tap it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the rest of them just the same way. See, I'm just tapping real lightly. Okay. And if you flip it over, do the same thing. Just tap it. And remember, the lanus doesn't have as much water in the glue, so it will take longer to dry. So if you just tap it and don't rub it in, you'll get that effect. I'm looking for it anyway. <laughs> And I'll be back when I'm all done, beautiful beings. Okay, here's the strips. This is the look I was looking for, beautiful beings. I love it. I love the texture. All right, but we're not done yet. I have to measure these. So I have these where I want them. I have to measure them to fit. I'm gonna be doing that very, very carefully. And I want to make sure this is on the inside of the fold. And I gotta cut that one. Which I'm thinking I might just mark it. And then cut it so I don't stick my head in the way. <laughs> Alright, so I got that one perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. This is just a thin one. Same thing, I'm going to come on inside of the fold, draw a line, and come over here, draw a line. And you can use these for something else, too. scraps left over. You can use them for embellishments, for behind stuff, or whatever you want. And I want this one here. This is one with the cardstock I didn't really care for. I'm trying to implement all of them into this. I better draw a line. <laughs> I better draw a line. Just put one straight, and then this one isn't cut right. I started doing it. I'm like, "What are you doing? You gotta show." Them. So I'm just gonna cut this one off a little bit right here. See if that looks. I have this right here. I have to cover that up with something too. So I gotta remember that. But I'm gonna put an M on the back of all these. So I know they're for the mermaid journal. Okay. Just stick them in there. Then we're gonna go to this one and we're not this one. We're gonna go to this one and we're gonna do the same thing. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone that's given me thumbs up and for everyone that's leaving comments. I appreciate you very much. And even if you're not, I appreciate you too. <laughs> and then you can keep this for something else. You can even put like a piece of it up here, upside down, like this, for a little tuck up there. And that's probably what I'll do. All right, so I got this one for here. This one for here. I'm going to want a thick one here. Let's 
soon as that. I'm gonna mark this one. Make sure they're all marked. For which journal? I have these. All right, I'm just gonna do four at a time. So I don't forget what I'm doing. I need ink. I have Distressed Oxide Chipped Sapphire and I have Distressed Oxide Shabby Shutters. And I'm just going to add color to these ones. That's way too much. It's too dark, but that's alright. That's alright. I rubbed too hard when I started it. Add a little color to them so you can see it in the backdrop. And then I might mix one. Let's mix this one with blue and green. And then this one. Green. Green on that one. Just blend them all together. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. There we go. Alright, now here's the next step. I'm going to get all these blown off. Here's what that one looks like. I just wanted to get the residue of all the the sponges off. There's a little residue left over, as you can see right there. Sometimes it rubs out. Sometimes you got to blow it out. And here's that. Okay. Now I have a fishing net. From Dollar Tree, and I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this because that looks like it's going to be long enough. That looks like it's. Here, let's, I don't know. That's probably holding it together, isn't it? But this is going to be long enough, so I'm going to cut right where it starts to hold it together again. Maybe there. Here, I'm going to do it right in the middle. Looks long enough. I'll strip of that. And very carefully. Come apart. I thought it was going to be. We'll figure this out before we get inside. I think I'm going to have to layer it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get some Melania's glue. And I'm just going to stick it on there. Maybe three spots, especially on one the ends. So I'll put some glue on the ends. And then and then I'm going down the middle like that and then I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing there we go then we're going to take our net if I can figure it out <laughs> Maybe I have to put it this way. I don't know. I'm going to do it this way. 
and put some on the edge, tap it down, and I'm going to bring this back in on the edge, tap that down, make sure it's all pushed up onto it. in edge and cut that off there. this piece off And you can even color your net if you want. I chose to just color the tissue paper because it was basically the same color. It was basically the same color as the net. I don't know how to get this to look more like a net. Maybe like this. I'm trying. There we go. Let's we'll do that. And we'll just experiment and see what works and what don't. I guess you just leave a couple pieces on top of each other. This one has more of the effect I wanted. Maybe it's because it's bigger, or maybe it's because I used two pieces. I'm not sure. But I'm adding the other pieces into this. And I need some glue up here. Put that down. There. Then I'm going to need some glue for that. And that's basically what I'm doing. Then I'm just going to put all the little pieces in spots that don't have the netting. Okay? One more, and then I'm gonna fast forward the other ones. This one, like that, like that. So I think I'm gonna cut that, and then do it again. Right, do that piece down. So we get the knots like in a different spot. Set that like that. And cut 
these off. I think it's okay if some is hanging over. But I like those knots because it make it makes it look like more like netting. And a knot here. And up there. Whatever. You see that good? <sighs> Just keep putting it where like the string pieces. Where they're missing. And of course I'm gonna have to cut the edge off. This part don't matter, but ends matter so I'm going to trim them off and take this and fill it in What do you think, beautiful bangs? Yes, no. There, that one's done. Now, let's do this one. I'm just going to tap that in there, trim that off. I don't know if that hanging right there will, but let me tuck something in. Honestly, I'd like some of this a little browner. I don't know if I need to cut that off. There, there we go, we'll just flip it up. Now I'm just gonna, I come up with an idea too, to turn the other ones brown. So we'll do that after they dry. And now we're doing the other ones for the, uh, the stripe. The stripe journal cover, beautiful beings. And I'll just fast forward this because you already seen this. I like that effect beautiful beings. This could be used on so many projects. Just doing that. Okay, on this one, I just took, unraveled the string, put one down, cut it, put one down, cut it, and put one down. <laughs> I'm trying new things with all the the, diff the different ways to do the string because <laughs> it's not as close i thought this string would be like tied together clo more closely and it's just not okay beautiful beings this one i'm just cutting knots out then i'm just gonna put a big clump down and then i'm just gonna glue the knots on top of it This one I cut a layer off and then I put some back together and just put it straight down. <laughs> this one I unraveled a little bit so it's a little bit more loosely and then I put that down. 
Just play with it, beautiful beings, and have fun. <laughs> Here's a close-up of them before they dry. <laughs> okay? I'll be back when they're all dry, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. On this one, this one. I put a little piece of tape if you didn't see the other video. <laughs> this is for our striped journal of the sea. And I have a piece of cardboard here, fruity pebbles. I'm going to glue this to this side and we're just going to have a pocket here. And this is where I glued this and the last video down and then I glued a seashell down. That we made. And it makes a really cute pocket. Okay. <laughs> right. But I want to do something in the background. Let's see. We already have seahorses going on. I figured. Yeah. Scratch it. I have this. This is from Joanne's Hero Arts. Polly Clear. What's the stamp name? Color layering. I don't even know what the name of the stamp the stamps are. Color layering goldfish. There it is. Okay. But I want these right here. We could probably put a couple goldfish on because I I plan on putting goldfish in some of the other ones. Plus I have other fish stickers I want to do a video on. But I want these for the background. So we're going to stick these down. Probably do it this way. And then I might change them too because I don't want it all to be the same. So let's put them down on our stamp block. And then we'll stamp them in spots. I want some underneath that. So. And of course, I didn't think of it bef until before. I could probably just do them by hand. We'll see. But I wanted to show you, I'm going to glue this onto here, okay? And that's going to be a side belly band, okay? I have this and this. Bundle Sage Distress Oxide. And I have Pine Needle Distress Oxide, okay? So I want to see how light this is. I'm going to put this on. And sometimes the distress inks don't mix well with rubber stamps. The clear ones, not the rubber ones, sorry, the clear ones. So we'll see. But I'm going to try to stick this in like that. Just a little bit. So there's some kind of ocean coming up from behind there. <laughs> I like it. And then I'm going to put some place, other places. And i got to remember to see how wide this is. This is another thing to keep in mind. I'm making it that length. I just got to trim this off because it's not cut straight, so i got to trim that off. But that's whereabouts it's going to be. Um, here. Trying to keep it out of the way so it doesn't get on and everything. That's why I'm setting it aside. <laughs> and let's up here. I kind of want to put something up here. Another pocket. We can have a fish on the bottom of that. But I'm keeping in mind I want to put a pocket there too. Alright, that's a dark. I don't want the dark yet. Until I switch these. And maybe some coming from behind that. And you can layer this too. You can do it again with greens. Here, I'll show you. Now that we're going in with dark green. 
I'll do two layered. I'll do that one layered and that one layered so you can see what I mean. There's darker green. that right make sure you can see the other um see foliage i don't know what to call it coming up see okay so you get a layer effect and the backdrop effect and so i'm gonna put this on that hopefully this looks good hopefully i got it in the right spot And then I want a couple green ones. Might even use a different green to the other ones after we move them. I'm gonna move this one over there. Go. And I'm gonna stick with that green, but I want to move these because I want stuff to look different. So let's move this over here. Move this in the middle and make it look like they're all coming out in the same thing. Of course, now that's not going to roar. I'm going to have to move this a little more. And I'm attaching them now to the bottom of each other. Okay, like that. So whatever look you like. Okay, beautiful things. That one's way over there. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. That one just below that. And these are sticking well with those stamps. And I don't know. Maybe we'll have some more coming out from behind the pocket. Like in the middle. Now I'm thinking I want a different color. Let's go get some archive pink. Library green. Okay. Archive ink. And I don't even know if this will be a different color. It should be. We'll find out. I think I'm just going to put that like right there. And then I want one here, and then I think I'm done. I gotta figure out what I'm putting up there. I'll do that when I'm gluing the other pocket. And I think I want this wavering. I think I might want up here because I might just stick something right there something small like a little tab off of a box one of those little square ones I'll just get see if I have any scrap left over and do that and there we go I think I want to just take that because there's not much left and wherever and get the rest off. Voila. <laughs> okay, we have things. So I'm going to glue that on here for a side pocket and then figure out what I'm putting up there. Okay, beautiful beings. I got that all glued down. I went around it with indoor glass paint, but I do I'm going to add just a little something in the middle. So that looks about in the middle, and that's all the farther I'm going with my circle punch. <sighs> it's really not going to work for me. <laughs> I got to line it back up where it was. I think I got it, hopefully. This thing only works when it wants to, I'm telling you. And usually it just doesn't work on thin paper. 
It's being a jerk. I'm going to get the other one. Okay, hopefully I can line this see where it's cut. I'm going to just try to line that up where the top isn't cut carefully. Now it looks like crap. I don't know what's up with that other physics. I'm just going to do this. Hopefully it looks smooth. It does. Okay, all that just for that beautiful dance. <laughs> now I'm going to take some of the white glass paint. Put some on my finger and then just touch that up. I don't know if anything got chipped there, but I'm putting it there. Just up a little ways. Then I'm going to set this aside to dry and wash my finger. I'll be right back. Some starfish. And I don't know about the brown. I don't know what colors are going to show up. So I have all these bright colors because I know they'll show up and hopefully they won't turn brown. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking anyway. But I'm going to do starfish. I'll put it in there somewhere. So it's nice and dark. Stick it down here. Starfish. There. Then I can put the other one in it. But I think we should put one over here, like maybe here. So I'm just going to do blue again for the backdrop. And then we'll put the other one inside it. put it on the fish too. I'm going to start this off. And that was from this one. This one Color and la layering seahorses. Okay. Color layering seahorses. That's what this one's from. There. And I'm going to take this one, the other star fish. I'm going to put that one here. And I'm not sure. Where's my lid for my ink? I don't want to lay anything on it. There it is right in front of me. <laughs> I'm thinking I have a yellow. Let that dry more. Because this isn't really dry. It's still a little wet. So I'm going to set this aside. We're going to bring in a fish from our other Hero Arts. Okay. I'm thinking I just want this see through one. I do want a big one. Maybe we should get. I could put that for a backdrop. We'll try it. We'll do this first. And figure out where we want it. Maybe up here. We'll do the really dark orange. Ripe persimmon. Persimmon. I'm hoping that persimmon. <laughs> Ripe persimmon. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. That is really bright, so this should work really great. I don't think we got the eye though. It's not. It's not on the eye. Maybe it's not supposed to be. These are layered ones. So we'll put that right there. I wish I had one going the other way. The other one is going the other way. So 
do the other one. I think that looks good just like that. All right, so let's clean this off. I love that persimmon. I hope I'm saying it right. It's like the brightest orange I've found yet. Persimmon? It's either persimmon or persimmon. 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 <laughs> Words, beautiful beings. Words. Okay. I want the other one the other way now. So that one was going that way. This one's going this way. We're putting the bottom foundation on first. And then we'll put the other one on top. So I'm going to use the same color for this. And this one's going to go like right here. And it's going to be going the other way. See how it's... Some stamps it goes on good. And some stamps it... It does that. It leaves spots. So that makes me nervous. This one right here. Is it upside down? Oh, that one goes that way too. Is that the ones we're going the other way? Or did I do that upside down? I have no idea, beautiful beings. I got the separate one. But it's going down. It's going down. One's going there. Maybe I put the one on upside down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I did. But it kind of looks like I did because that one's going that way and then one's going the other way. I'm totally confused. I'm totally confused. Maybe I did. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now that one was upside down. How could that be upside down? How am I going to put this one down? It wasn't upside down. But why isn't that one going the other way? I don't know. I'm not going to think too much about it. <laughs> Alright, let's add some of this now. Spice marmalade. Let's see how this multi-layer stamps work. I'm going to put my head in the way and then I'll just delete it out, okay? And then I'll show you after the result, okay? Before. After. I think it looks pretty good. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other one. And I do have an envelope laying right there. I like to do that to get the ink off. <laughs> I like to put it on the envelopes. color and then I'll just pull it down here so I can see it and then I'll just give you a close-up so I have to line it up just right beautiful beans there you go okay now we're gonna do star seed Or the starfish, star seed, <laughs> starfish. I gotta put the lid on that before I get orange on my pocket foil. All right, so what do we do? This. You think gray would show up? I got distressed oxide hickory smoke. I don't know. If show up. We're gonna try it. If it don't show up, we'll do another color. I'm gonna line it up. I don't think that's right. So, this way? I can't find which way it goes, beautiful beings. <laughs> I cannot. 
doing it this way. It didn't show up at all. <laughs> Alright, we gotta try a different color. I have this aged mahogany. I have yellow. Let me get the yellow. When all else fails, if you have squeezed lemonade, it shows up on everything. It's gorgeous, gorgeous yellow. Just like this bright, bright per, 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 persimmon. <laughs> Here. <laughs> that shows up on everything. But those two are the brightest colors I've ever come across, and I love both of them. Well, that I bought. It probably is great what's out there, but those are the ones I bought. And they're both on clearance. Alright, that's showing up a little bit. It's better than nothing. Let's do this one and move on to the next step. In there, there. At least you can see the spine of the seed. Star, starfish. Okay, you can see in there. You can see something. Okay, next is this. I took this and used the color we used before, the shabby shutters. And I just inked it all up on a piece of scrap. Okay. I made sure I got the edges. I left that so I can show you. But what I'm going to do is, as you can see, both ends are different. So I'm going to fold this over like this, and line it up, and cut it, so they're even, like that, and I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, and put it right along here. I'm gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna leave it because I like that look. Just something that's in the sea. It's been there for a while. Okay. And then when our pocket here is dry, I will glue that down. Now we're going to move on to another pocket file. I wanted to do. The reef. Is that called the reef? The sea reef? I don't know. I want to do the this in here too, I think. I should have done that, I think, but it's okay. But I think I'm just going to use the dark green for that, and I think I put it away. I just want a couple here and there. Make sure that's clean.
and I have something for up here. Let's see if it's dry. I took a Kleenex tab, Kleenex box tab, and I had this piece of scrap left over, and it's dry. It's going right here. Okay, and I just went around it with white paint. This was left over from the pockets we made in the two videos back. <laughs> okay, but that's going to go up there. Figure out where we want our sea foliage. I'm going to take this I'm hoping I don't have any ink on my fingers it's going to get on the cardstock here it's coming wait take it forever let's go like this so it's easier to glue down Put the lids on these because I don't want to get ink on stuff I don't want ink on. Move them out of the way. I got stuff all over you. <laughs> and we're going to glue that one there. I did some foliage there. I'm so glad I didn't take that off the stamp. Here. I do need foliage. I'm just going to have this coming out from over there. It just looks too plain. Maybe I should have it going this way. Yeah, that's what we're doing. There we go. Now it looks better to me. Take it off. I'm just going to put glue on it and then after I'm done, I'm going to flip, turn this upside down somewhere. And when I'm done, I'll put it down. I think I'm going to add some fish. So I'll just set that there. And on this. I'm just going to glue this part here. I'm going to set that upside down. And I chose to do a fish and a seahorse, beautiful beings. on the fish. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on here before I set it on something else. Looks better on there. <laughs> I 
That's a nice look of fish right there. <laughs> All right, set that aside, bring him in, and we're just gonna put some orange in him. Detail. This is a detail stamp. See, just all uplifting. Something there. I gotta line this up perfectly, so I'm turning it sideways where I can see it. And I think there's a pocket on the other side of this too. See, I got something on that, and it's not even matches any of the inks that I had out. But there's a seahorse. It's good enough for me. I'm done. I'm gonna glue the other two down, and then we're going back to our mini belly band strips. <laughs> okay, beautiful beings. I glued them down on each end. Just put a little bit of glue, glue them down. Then I added a little tuck here from our scrap mini belly bands. Okay. But now I want to go around the edges like I did on this one. So you can figure out if you like. I went around, all I did was add a piece that had a knot all the way around like that. And I colored this brown, and after I did it, I regretted it because I didn't like it. <laughs> so I just kept them all the off-white. But if you like that, you can color it. All I did was take, I took some walnut stain, and I blighted I daubed it, and then I just went like that. Okay? And I think I did it three times. That's all I did with one of these. Okay? With a dauber. But I really don't like it. But at least we have one brown. I wanted it brown, so I got one brown. I just particularly don't care for it. But if you do, and you can color it any color you want. It doesn't have to be brown. You can use whatever ink you have and color it that color. But I want to go around this one like I did this one. So here's two looks all the way around with our fishnet or not all the way around with our fishnet but I like it with a fishnet around it because I think it just completes it and I took another piece of scrap left over from our mini belly bands and put another one up there just for a top tuck and you can take tickets from cruise ships whatever and put them in there you can take pictures and then put them in the bigger mini belly bands whatever you have left over from your cruise ships your boat trips even if you go in a restaurant you can keep infirma from that whatever you can find to keep as a token of a memory now i'm going to take the fishnet and just go in like one eighth of an inch all the way around with the glue and show you how to do that and you can double up your fishnet you can put knots in the middle and the ends whatever you want to do beautiful beings Remember that tear I had there? There's a little tear, just a little glue, took some off. All I did was bundle up a whole bunch of knots that were still connected, and then I glued that there, okay? To cover that up. But I like it all the way around, but you don't have to do that. Okay, when this dries, I'll be back and give you a close-up of all four of them, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, I just put some cards in there so you can see how they look with stuff in them. You can put pictures, you can put cards, you can put whatever you want, anything you want in these. Notes, letters, whatever you want. 
but I think they turned out beautifully and this is what I envisioned when I started and I completed the vision and I love it. And we got a whole bunch of different types, different looks using different kinds of paints, ink. Is that brown one? <laughs> other two again I put some cards and tags in them just so you can see what they look like full I want to put like a gem or something in his eye, I think, because he looks like a skeleton. <laughs> so I'll probably end up putting eyes on the fish. I'll show you when I complete the, uh, the back of this pocket file. full view of this one. I just put some pictures in there. Remember you can use these for pictures too. It doesn't have to be just about tags and cards. Okay. Put pictures in there. Even if somebody gives you a card that has a sea theme on it, you can put them in there. There's that from our wheel, from our stencil wheel. We made this and I just used I think they great, make great little tucks, our little seashells. There's our starfish. And then there are the fish that needs eyes. Both of them needs an eye. I'll come up with something. And then that little tuck. I didn't put nothing on that one. I probably will later. Might even color it. Put a little bit of green on it. Piece of scrap left over. There you go, beautiful beings. Here's all of our pocket files for the sea. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.